Today I'm going to be starting a remix of an Antics track. Antics were pretty big uh, inspirational figures to me when I was starting out. Um, they were quite big on a, not just a global level, but on the New Zealand level as well, back in the kind of late 90s, early 2000s, and still to this day, they're going to be celebrating their 25th anniversary uh, in August. And we're doing a gig at Hyde Nightclub in Christchurch, and they're also doing shows in Auckland as well. So I'll link in the description, and as part of that, um, they've asked me to remix their Le Lascard track, which is a really epic track, and it means a lot to me to be able to remix it. I highly recommend you check it out. I will link in the description to the track and to the gig. And I thought I'd document the process of doing the remix in the Daily Decibel series. So we are taking a little bit of a sideline from the original track as I want to get this done as fast as I can. <clears throat> so here is the pack that they've sent us. Um, you'll see we've got a whole bunch of stems, which I have unzipped. And I'm just going to drag these all into an audio track in Ableton Live from the, uh, from the Finder. What's it on PC? file explorer so here we go so i've just dropped them into one audio track and i'm going to first let's figure out the bpm before we listen to anything so let's open up the kick track boom 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 and we can see that this has been warped to 130 bpm so this track is 130 and we're set on 130 here so that's all good let's have a look and see what we have i'm just going to play these clips as uh, sequentially so there's our kick very good. So these all seem to be warped correctly at 130, which is good. Usually a sign that they've uh, exported um, from their software a kind of a time frame rather than just the audio. So we've got noise, pads, percussion. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's um let's create a percussion audio track, a bass audio track, a synth audio track. And, and we'll just go other audio tracks. So I can just start categorizing them as I listen to them. So kick goes into percussion, string we'll go into synth, noise sweep, we'll put that in other, noise weird synth. We'll go synth for that, pad. Put that across in the synth. And there's our hats. Here's our on hats. Put that into the percussion. Reverse clap. Reverse crash. With some uh, triplet or dotted sounding ride cymbals. And here we have a bit of a sonar beep. Okay, synth. This is a sonar beep with some wet, so this has some reverb on it. This is what I usually do when I start out doing a remix. I like to just go through everything, categorize them, and then have a little bit of a play around, just mixing things together and, you know, just having a bit of fun at the start. So the bass line for this track is a nice, long, steady kind of note. The key feature of this track for me anyway is there's this really beautiful chord change, and we'll hear that um, as we move down. Uh, let me just close the ins and outs so we have more space here. Tech loop. So that's percussion. It's like a heavily processed for a loop. Just a baby. So this one isn't warped correctly, but we'll deal with this as we come to it. Uh, hopefully playing these isn't going to get me copy strike, but whatever. We don't need to monetize these videos. Vocal effect wet. And if there is one that'll get me uh, copy strike, that'll be that one, because I believe the original track starts with that. Uh, we'll put the vocal effects over on the other track, like this. And we'll put that on, we'll put that on synth, because it's vocoded. This is the this is the non-vocoded one. I should perhaps create another vocal track here. So we'll put these three across into the vocal track. Got some more hats. I'm just going to drag them into whatever slot. Melody dry. Very simple sine wave there. And we have wet. So again, this warping is all weird. Well, as I said, as we want to use these samples, we'll um. We'll get to warping them correctly. Here's our 909 open hat. A nice bongo loop. A conga. Uh, it was this one, wasn't it? Yep. Very good. Chords. 
chonk. Okay, so we're going to be dubbing those out for sure. I want to write a just a good solid prog tune. I don't want to get too fancy with it. There's the reverse chords, reverse wet. I wonder what reverb they used. Clap. Compressed loop. What's this going to be? Super compressed drum loop. Conga delay. I'm not going to go through all of these. I, I can kind of tell what they are by the name. All right, let's just get all of these across into the percussion track. Dirty tambourine. So this is the one that will have has that kind of chord change. So yeah, to me that is a very defining moment of this track and that's probably the main theme we're going to be basing a lot of the remix around. Fat Reverse. Put that in the synth. We don't have many other things. More hats, lots of percussion to play with, so that's awesome. I'll put that in bass. Did I put the bass in here? Yeah, I did. Okay. And that's, um, that seems to be it. That seems to be everything. Okay, let's just tidy this up a bit, get rid of the gaps. Uh, drag these up. One, two. Up we go. Just being a bit tidy. Good to be tidy at the very start, otherwise things start getting out of hand. Well, they do for me anyway. Drag this up. Imposca. Why does the word Imposca ring a bell? must be a type of synth and of course this I don't know when this was written but it was quite a long time ago because I remember listening to it when I was quite young yeah because I'm still young now okay so here's all the stuff let's go ahead and just grab the I just want to have a bit of a jam for the last uh, three or four minutes of this video before we start actually structuring things around so let's just go ahead let's go to 33 bars and um, let's just create a new audio track drag this kick in and let's go back to arrangement view and unsolo everything so I'm not sure I might beef this kick up a bit it's pretty good but we'll see what happens and let's just put in some hats all right starting to sound good let's get the bass line in make sure we loop this just so I can I just want to hear the bass and those distorted chords let's drag these all out and where's our distorted pads? Here we go. Um, we'll just chuck these on down here. I'll put them over here to try and match up with this um, this area here. And let's throw in another percussive loop. We'll get the get one of these and just try and time everything nicely. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's um, it's really quiet. I, I I keep going on about it, but it's quite um. It's always a trip remixing a track that you have a bit of a connection with, and then getting the raw files. You know, being able to hear this naked is um. It's just it's a bit strange. It's not. So it's not highly emotional, but it's just kind of, oh, never heard that without everything else layered over it before. What have we got? We've got some beeps. Let's put those in, see what happens. So yeah, this is by no means what me beginning the layout. This is just me having a bit of a jam because it's all about having fun. Let's grab that bass, um, and Posca bass. And let's chuck this down here. Make sure we loop it. And what else? Let's go. Let's get these guys on. I'll just duplicate this for now. Let's choose one more quickly. Go dirty tambourine.
Very good. Next video, we'll start composing and coming up with some ideas.